Thermal Scientific LMH GD Plus, GDMS, is a tool for trace metal analysis of all kinds of different materials, mostly conductive metals. Now with the LMH GD Plus especially, we extend the range also to things like depth profiling of uh, thin uh, technology layers. Plus also we're going to extend to analysis of non-conductive powders, especially used for electronic industries. On this instrument, we feature a fast flow source. So that means we have a pretty short pumping time, something like 10 seconds to reach this one millibar. So it's designed to have a high sample throughput and still achieve uh, PPB level detection limits for uh, all kinds of materials. A glow discharge is, uh, you, you normally see the light. So in many applications, you just see the light. For mass spectrometers, we do need the ions to have an ion signal. Putting this all together, what you have is a machine that can measure from matrix composition down to sub-PPB, and that's very often used for a variety of uh, different alloys. For metals, traditionally, it's a piece of a, a nickel alloy used for aerospace industry, for jet engines, rocket engines, so special materials with some dedicated compositions. And so other traditional markets for GDMS are uh, high purity metals, not necessarily alloys. Another sample would be something like uh, brass at uh, certain qualities that require pretty high purity of certain elements right. or high purity copper often used for electronics industries. It's a little piece of silicon, so for solar cells. And these can be run as it is, as they are, uh, on the element GD. The thing about the GDMS technique itself is that you necessarily measure the matrix composition plus the trace metal. That means you have the full and complete information of what's inside your sample. As a pulse mode of the element GD plus, is a, uh, it's a standard uh, ionization mechanism that's going to be applied now. This gives you the benefit of introducing much less energy than what you, you would do with a DC source and maintaining the same high sensitivity. The benefit of this is very obvious. One application would be depth profiling applications because you just sputter much slower through any layer. So even nanometer thick layers are easy to see and easy to quantify even at the PPM level. The last application, what I uh, would like to mention, is that we now can also extend into the field of non-conductor analysis. So one example I would like to give is alumina analysis. So alumina powders especially as a base substrate for production of high-tech materials like sapphire glasses for touch screens. So they require quite high purity. Some of these powders, like ceramics, are not easy to dissolve. Therefore, the LMGD as a solid technique offers a large benefit here.